Hi everyone, this is Beta Hassan. In today's video, we're gonna see how to measure DC current using a shunt resistor and operational amplifier or a non inverting amplifier socket. Uh, let me talk about the socket. I have a, a voltage source V, I've used a battery as you see here and um, uh, I, the current that will be flowing in the socket is I, which is the load current I2 is the load resistor and R3 the argent argent uh, is a resistor that usually used for measuring uh, the current through the load uh, its valve has to be kept very very small so as to reduce the power rating of that resistor and also the voltage drop across it so the valve of argent has to be small uh, okay in the operation uh, operational amplifier circuit which which is the non-inverting uh, amplifier circuit I've used R in uh, which is 10k and uh, the feedback resistor RF uh, is 73k so what the circuit does uh, it's just uh, what we would be concerned with uh, is the voltage drop across the agent the voltage drop across the agent has to be very small so as to make sure when it gets amplified with the operation amplifier it doesn't exceed uh, 5 volts if it exceeds 5 volts it will destroy the market controller so make sure the voltage drop time to gain uh, the output of the of the operation amplifier does not exceed 5 volts let's see the equations to get the voltage drop across uh, the shunt resistor uh, which is VD is given by uh, taking 12 which is the voltage source times the value of the agent which is 0 0.22 then divide by 6 plus 0 0.22 and 6 is the value of the load resistor uh, the voltage drop across our shunt will be around 0 0.4 to 4 what about the max the load current uh, the load current is just simply given by taking the voltage uh, the voltage source divided by the load resistor so it's uh, 12 divided by 6 will get 2 amps so what about the power rating of the R shunt uh, the power rating uh, is given by taking the current uh, times uh, the resistor itself which is given by I square R so we're going to take as 2 times 2 which is 4 times 0 0.22 we'll get 0 0.88 watt uh, which is approximately 1 watt so if the you increase the value of agent then the power rating will also increase so they are just direct proportional to each other okay so the voltage drop is 0 0.424 uh, to get the output uh, voltage of the non-inverting uh, amplifier circuit we must know the gain so the gain also must be very small so as to make sure that the amplified voltage does not exceed 5 volts so uh, the gain is given by taking 1 plus RF which is the feedback resistor divided by R in which is the input resistor so the gain is given by 1 uh, plus 73 over 10 which is 8.3 the output of the operation amplifier now is given by taking the gain time the voltage drop which uh, where the voltage drop will act at the import to this uh, non inverting terminal of the upper operation amplifier so the output voltage uh, will be given by 8.3 times 0 0.42 which will be around uh, 3.52 volts okay now let's see how the circuit works okay the voltage is 11.8 which is almost 12 and the current from the ammeter is 1.8 amps which is almost 2 amps 
Okay, the voltage drop is 0 0.42, I, which is, seems to be exactly uh, from what we get from the calculation. And uh, the output of the upper, of the operation amplifier is also uh, around 3.5.2. So as you see here in this uh, liquid crystal display, the current is 1.9 amp, uh, which is exactly the same the current from the ammeter. So this is how you can measure a DC current using a shunt resistor and an operational amplifier. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you like it. Just subscribe to my channel and like the video. In the next video I will be talking about how you can measure AC voltage without using a transformer. We're going to see the formulas and how to get things works. Thank you guys.